We are in Microsoft Outlook 2013. I'm going to show you how to export email to a PST file. PST files are portable. You can take them uh, on uh, other drives. You can copy them up to the network, things like that. You can also back them up and uh, use them for archiving. And let's go ahead and start by clicking on the File tab in the upper left-hand corner. Click on the Open and Export link underneath that. And then let's click on the Import Export option. So from here we have lots of different options. One of them uh, is going to be Export to a File. And that's exactly what we want to choose. Let's go ahead and click Next. From here we can choose to export it to a couple different things. Uh, a CSV, that type of file allows us to open it in a spreadsheet program. So if we want we can edit or um, uh, you know, ex export to uh, another computer, another uh, email if you want as well. PST file is definitely uh, just Microsoft Outlook's own file. Then it keeps everything in the same structure. And you can open it up in any other Outlook if you want. From here you can choose to uh, export everything by clicking on the top and then checking to make sure that includes subfolders is included. You can also click on the filter to if you want to filter words or uh, filter from email. Lots of different criteria that you can filter uh, from, sent to, that kind of thing. So you don't have to export everything. You can just export things based on a filter. We're going to go ahead and export everything. So let's go ahead and click Next. Uh, so now you want to uh, t tell the computer where it is that you want to export the file to. So by default, it's going to try to put it into this long path here. But it might be easier just to go ahead and choose uh, the desktop and because the desktop is it's easier to find. So we go ahead and click OK there. And if we want, we can replace duplicate items with items exported. I don't recommend that. Anytime you have duplicates, it causes all kinds of problems unless you specifically want them. So I'm going to choose to do not export duplicate items. So go ahead and click Finish. And if we want, we can put in a password. Of course, that's always recommended. Let's go ahead and click OK. And now the export is going to start. Now, if you have a big uh, mailbox, then it could take uh, anywhere from 20 minutes to many, many hours. It just depends on you know how big it is. In our particular case, it wasn't big at all. It's just mostly this one email here and some deleted items, which are very small. So it shouldn't take long at all to get that particular one exported. So when we open up the uh, file manager here we can see that our backup PST file is there and it's about four megabytes.